Yo, what's going on guys? Arex here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to give you guys a quick guide on how to take down these guys here, these sort of walking mausoleums. I say take down, basically how to bring them down to the ground so you can actually get inside the building that is on their back. So if you guys do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know if you guys have encountered these already. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring coverage. Super appreciate the support so far. Now, to begin with, if you guys want to locate one of these, the very first one I encountered was in Limgrave. If you go over here to the sort of southern part of the map, the sort of bottom part of the island, and you then look to this general area here, they do tend to roam around, but they largely speaking stick in this general vicinity. And basically what happens is you run up to them, and at least this one here over in Limgrave, you'll notice there are lots of like white skulls attached to the legs. Essentially, what you need to do is go around and break off a number of these off a couple of the legs. You don't have to break off every single one. Do keep in mind you want to be careful because in a very sort of Shadow of the Colossus fashion, they can also step on you. But once you've taken off enough of these skulls, the mausoleum will then sit down. It will basically bury itself on the ground and then you can gain access. Now, as for what it's used for, this is basically used as a means to duplicate boss souls, but it does have a finite limit. Now, I won't show you guys the vendor for spoiler reasons, but once you have defeated the first two story bosses, you can return to Roundtable Hold and you can speak to the vendor. If you guys have played previous Souls games before, you'll be familiar with this. When you defeat a boss, you get their soul. You can then use that soul to craft some of the weapons from them. Now, in this game, of course, there are a number of different things you can craft from them. So these mausoleums act as a means to allow you to duplicate those souls should you decide, say, oh, I want both items from the first boss, but you only have one soul. This allows you to get a second one so you can craft both items. It is, however, worth noting each mausoleum only has a single use, so do use these carefully. I learned that the hard way, so maybe what it is worth doing is perhaps fighting the bosses, deciding what items you really want, and then coming back here later to duplicate that soul. But there are, of course, a number of different mausoleums. I'll give you a location of the second one, but of course, there will be other ones roaming around in different areas. In fact, there are a couple of them in Leonia. So if ever you do get sort of like open expanses, definitely go roaming around looking for them. For the second one, if you go up to the top northern part of Leonia, this sort of alcove in the lake, basically where it sort of goes in towards the mountains. This one is a little bit different. Again, functionally, they all work the same way. There are some skulls that you will need to destroy, only this time around, you'll notice they are not on the legs. What you actually need to do is go to the location very nearby. There is a jump pad you can use with your horse to launch yourself up the mountain. And you then need to use these sort of like slabs or the like tombstones as stepping stones to jump down to the level of the mausoleum. It will then walk closely to it. You can then jump off your horse onto there and you'll then see loads of skulls. You can of course go around and destroy them. And once you've destroyed enough, it will then lower down. And that is mausoleum number two. Now again, keep in mind there are other ones located, but for the purpose of this video, showing you guys how to bring them down and what they're for, that should answer your question. So hopefully you found this helpful. Again, if you guys did, a like would be super appreciated. If you guys want to know where you can find an awesome katana, a fantastic weapon for those of you guys that want to play samurai or just want a badass katana, definitely click this video and keep it locked for plenty more.